This demonstration uh, shows how MediaView can access the built-in Mathematica program uh, in two different ways. I have a demonstration um, MediaView document that's been prepared. Uh, my cursor is on. It's called MMA Examples. I'll double click on that and then we'll see that uh, MediaView is going to open it and it will install uh, some uh, items here that represent the two different ways of accessing Mathematica. Uh, the first example is what I have called a live equation example. Uh, it's so named because uh, the representation of an equation in the document can actually be uh, uh, s accessed by MediaView and then sent to a Mathematica server anywhere on a network uh, that the next workstation is connected to. And in fact, under the first um, title, Live Equation Example 1, I've just added some explanatory information uh, that points out that the Live Equation capability is accessed via the Unix pipe facility. Uh, that is just on, on this machine, just opening a pipe directly to the Mathematica server and without going into the details uh, the relevant piece of information here is in the quotation marks slash net that would be a, a machine located on the network slash sunset which is the name of the machine that uh, I'm currently using and then a directory called next apps and then finally an application called Mathematica app uh, and then in addition it is um, uh, going to another location under Mathematica app and, and loading uh, kernel applications. Uh, and the kernel is another name for the Mathematica server. So the first example that I have is um, this matrix equation. It's a, a two-dimensional rotation equation involving rotation uh, uh, around the, uh, uh, the axis uh, the, of the angle theta. And um, note that there is a small icon here. This is supposed to be a magnifying glass. And that means that this is inspectable in um, media view terminology. So if I click on this, I'm going to open up another panel. And at the same time, just opening up that panel has established a Unix pipe connection with the Mathematica server. So it is currently live. And the only parameter that I can vary in this particular equation is the angle theta, which is currently set at a value of zero. So I'll uh, change that to minus 0.2, for example. And then I click on the evaluate button. And in this window above here, there will be a stream of uh, textual information, which is exactly what is being sent to the uh, Mathematica server, the kernel. And then there will be the, res the response from the kernel uh, in that same window showing what it is sending back, in including the calculations. And I've asked to have a graphical um, entity uh, plotted as well. So I'm clicking on that. There's all the input information. Uh, and what's coming back after evaluating that is a new orientation of this small house that I was working with. And so the, the link then is from this equation to whatever is displayed in this location. Um, I could n now take, and I, of course I can uh, do this operation as many times as I want to to get exactly the orientation I'm looking for. But at this point, if there's a button called Copy PS. This has all been sent to uh, this machine from the server in a form of postscript. So I'll copy that and now it's on the clipboard and I can go down here and uh, uh, I'll just select this original uh, version of, of the orientation of the house and I will uh, go up to the edit menu and click paste. And uh, there is the uh, or the version that I've, I've received from the Mathematica server, uh, the kernel, uh, that I've just now pasted into that document. Now, when I click this Xbox to close this, the link 
between MediaView and the Mathematica server has just been broken. And every time there's a new live equation, uh, as there is uh, just down below a bit, every time I activate uh, the, uh, the link to Mathematica, it starts all over again. So here again is the uh, magnifying glass so I can inspect this. This is a fairly uh, simple example of just showing what this function, sine of x and y, and the rest of this is just specifying a mathematic a command to use combinations of red, green, and blue uh, in order to represent the height of this equation and that is all plotted down below. So we see various shades of green and, and magenta and so on. So again, I'll activate a link to the Mathematica server. Uh, now, uh, there are actually three variables that I have to work with. Uh, red, green, and blue. And those are currently represented here. Uh, the maximum value is 1 in this coordinate system is 0 0.5 for red, 0 0.8 for green, and 1.0 for blue. So uh, what I'll do, uh, just arbitrarily, is change the blue content to 0 and then evaluate this equation. And now we see the stream of information that's going to the uh, Mathematica server and it's sending back information with a new plot uh, that has slightly different coloration. And, and we will see that uh, in the, the corner closest to the eye, it's gone from a bright magenta to a very, very uh, dark red. So again, if we do a copy PS, uh, we've, we've taken the results out of that window, and I can elect again uh, to replace what I've done, and I could create a new document, and uh, there's all kinds of possibilities, but I'm just showing the capability in situ right here, uh, rather than opening new documents. So there, there's the resultant uh, three-dimensional plot by just changing the value of blue uh, to zero. The last example that I want to demonstrate is what's called a Mathematica notebook example. Um, the, the one I've just showed I utilized Unix pipes uh, to connect from MediaView into the uh, Mathematica server. In this case, this icon at the bottom, which is a sphere inside of a cube, um, will actually launch the Mathematica application, just as if I had uh, gone to a location and double clicked on the application's icon. But I'm doing it directly here, but at the same time, I'm sending information via what's called a Mathematica notebook. The stream of information that was sent when we were using the pipe can be captured in a file. And uh, so that uh, access via a next step from MediaView is actually to uh, uh, invoke a, uh, a method called application workspace open open file notebook file and so on and again it can be anywhere on the network and I'm specifying specifically uh, the, the highest level net with this machine called sunset next apps Mathematica app so let's click on that and now I'm sending the information that is built into MediaView as in the form of a Mathematica notebook. And what is happening here is um, another application is opening. So we'll just, and one of them is just a window with nothing in it. But the one we're interested in is this information that was in the notebook. And it says do a density plot with uh, some trigonometric functions. And, to, uh, and now I'm going to ask the server to actually evaluate that and, and produce a, a resultant graphic. So it is working. Uh, up at the top, there's a, a notification at the window bar. It says it's running. So the Mathematica server now is, is active and calculating these various instantiations of this uh, filter function that's represented by this, this, these shades of gray. And when, it's, when the running goes away, this will, will be complete. And it's done. And so we can see that there are uh, six instances of this uh, filter function being plotted for different values of uh, parameters. Uh, <clears throat> and now um, I, I can actually animate this. 
so um, I can um, uh, activate everything and then enter a command that starts the animation going and so now what we see up here it just in this portion of the window is the complete animation from one uh, parameter value used in the, in the filter function to another and we'll stop that and close that up and now over here just to uh, just to make it clear here is the Mathematica control bar uh, because we actually opened up the Mathematica application from media view and so I will quit that application and say no don't save anything and that's all done and so what we've done is to show two different ways of accessing the um, the Mathematica server from MediaView. Uh, so I'll save this, quit MediaView, and then just to show that uh, all the, the changes that we made have been saved, we'll reopen everything again, and MediaView will uh, open its window and then start uh, parsing uh, the contents of that file, MMA examples and that will show up in just a moment and so just to go from top to bottom uh, here are the changes that we made by uh, doing a two-dimensional rotation on the original version of this simple house and then here are the changes that were made to the uh, three-dimensional RGB plot and um, there were no changes made to the uh, mathematical notebook uh, so just this has been a brief overview of the powerful uh, techniques of uh, having an embedded application in MediaView and uh, accessing uh, server client capabilities, in this case using the Mathematica server, uh, which when it was active with a live equation, uh, contained equation uh, information on the server that was sent from this client, MediaView, and passed information back to the client media view for the display.